Join me in giving a rousing wind welcome to our guest speaker, Mo Abidu, as she comes up to deliver the 2017 Wimbiz Annual Lecture. What I'd like to do today is to share a few of my ideas um, and a few tips on the things that I have done that have possibly worked. And I've done a lot of things that have not worked, by the way. Um, all our journeys are very different, so what works for me may not necessarily work for you. But all I can do is share. Spend more time with friends that encourage you. Because as you grow, some of your friends um, may not be growing with you, but spend more time with business associates that encourage you. It's very important. Never underestimate your competitors. Keep being the benchmark they're trying to beat. It means you must keep innovating, you must keep being creative. Share your recipe of success with others. Because your DNA is not my DNA. My journey isn't your journey. Our journeys differ. But there may be certain things that I can learn from you and certain things that you can learn from me that we can both together be the best that we can be. Because there are going to be a million TV channels in Nigeria. But if you're running a branding company or an events management company, you could provide service to me. So I can share my pain with you. You can share yours with me. Maybe I can help you brand. I can put some adverts on television. We can look at that exchange. I'm not sure there's enough of that happening amongst women. And men are very good at doing that. They're not emotional about business. They just see it as a function in terms of how they need to survive, you know, pay the bills and all the other things that are demanded of them. Success can create enemies. Be wary of that. It can create enemies. But in terms of it creating the enemies, it's therefore important for you to keep succeeding. Because as much as you're successful, someone is waiting for you to fall so they can occupy that space. So you can't afford to be sleeping at any point in time. You've really got to be out there looking for the most innovative ways to ensure your business can grow. Never be too proud to say sorry. I've learned, it took me a long time to learn that, especially with those that I work with. You know, I mean, at times I'll go off on a screaming match and I'll pick up the phone and say, I'm sorry I screamed, I'm sorry, but I was just having a bad day, whatever it may be. But I think it's important to learn that we are human, we're going to make mistakes, and let's admit those mistakes um, and stay humble, as humble as we can. How are you doing, Emmy? How are you feeling? Oh, my goodness. It's, um, it's been awesome. I'm not the sort of person that's going to have a very scripted um, speech. I will have keynotes that will guide the discussion and try and focus on why I'm here. And I think that's what I did today. And I hope that, as I said, you know, my journey can't be anyone else's journey. We all have our journeys we're on. There may be some things I've said that would be relevant to some people. And to some people, it just will be zero relevance. So it's really just a matter of, you know, and I think it's about learning from each other. I said a big thank you to the founding mothers because, you know, a, a bunch of, a group of women came together many, many years ago and said, let's create this. And prior to that, there was nothing like this. And how were we engaging? How, what, were, what were the discussions that were going on? And so it's good to see that they've been consistent in making sure that Wimbiz stays alive. Inspirational, motivational and empowering are only a few of the words that adequately describe the experience that we've had here this morning. Honestly, listening to MA never gets old.